Nate has been turned into a frog, and until he's back, welcome to the dark times. Hello, Nate. I hope things have been going well for you. How's frog life? You know, being an amphibian must be pretty interesting. It's been a little over two months now since you have disappeared, so... Three more months, I think? Yeah, hope you're having a good time. Again, enjoy that frog life. Uh, things have been interesting back at the homestead. Um, a lot of stuff has happened in Florida recently, as you will find out. Um, yeah, we've got a good set of news for you. Let's just jump right into it. Let's see what's going on in the world. Hit that news thing. Mm. All right, Florida. A professional soccer team from Toronto had their practice interrupted by a massive alligator. In the middle of practice, this alligator just wandered onto the field, prompting the team to stop and of course, take a team video with the alligator in the background. Uh, from the sound of it, the coach was a little concerned about everything, but the players did not care. They, it, was, it was break time. It was alligator time. Although alligator is edible. I've seen alligator jerky before. Maybe that was in the works. I'll let you know if I find out any updates on this exciting news story. Let's go to Canada now. In Canada, 900 customers lost internet service when beavers chewed through their fiber cable. When repairmen arrived on the scene, they discovered that there was a beaver dam nearby. These beavers who lived there had dug three feet underground and chewed through an internet cable, a fiber thing, you know, those service things that bring you internet. And then the beavers decided to take these parts and help them to build their dam. I'm assuming they just wanted some good internet service uh, to their dams, but yeah, it, I don't know. It inconvenienced 900 people though, so bad. Not good beavers, don't steal our internet. Beavers. Yeah. Last Saturday, hundreds of people all named Josh had an epic battle royale in a Nebraskan park with pool noodles. Yeah, yeah, hundreds of people all by the name of Josh just duked it out with pool noodles. How did this happen? Okay, the event originated one year ago in April of 2020 when an Arizona college student, he was just bored by the pandemic, he challenged a couple of his friends on social media to meet him in a duel in a park in Nebraska. I'm assuming he had to travel if he's an Arizona college student. I mean, it's April, so you'd be in class. Uh, yeah, that's interesting. Although maybe they were uh, Skyping, Zooming, a virtual classroom, that kind of thing. Maybe it was a little bit easier to, to do. But besides the point, hundreds of people all by the name of Josh just had a big pool noodle battle. Um, I saw a video of this. There was a guy dressed like Spider-Man, a guy dressed like Thor. Um, there were Star Wars people there. It was just madness and chaos and pool noodles. Look up the video if you get a chance. I would share a link, but I don't have it anymore. I'm sorry. Um, a four-year-old boy by the name of Joshua Vincent Jr. was named the victor, and he was awarded a Burger King crown and was hoisted upon the shoulders of all the other participants. Probably not all several hundred of them, maybe like three or four people. Four-year-olds are small. Um, you only need like one person actually to hoist them. I don't know how many people hoisted, but he was lifted. He was raised up so he could stand on mountains. Also, here's the fun side. Um, 300 pounds of food was collected and donated to a local food bank and $8,000 were raised and donated to a local children's hospital. So good for you, the Joshes of Nebraska and other parts of the world who may have traveled. Yeah. An Idaho man set the Guinness World Record for the longest time balancing the garden hoe on his nose. That's gotta hurt. I looked up the qualifications for this and the hoe has to be at least two and a half pounds. That's a lot of weight just to go in your nose. Um, the man's name was David Rush and he reported that it uh, was deforming the cartilage in his nose and causing pain. He powered through, <coughs> excuse me, you see, he had set the record um, originally in 2017 at 40 minutes. He beat the last guy who had done it 30 minutes, but other people's beat him since then. And he likes to do these world records. I think this David Rush has over 150 world records and he does this to promote like STEM education and stuff. I'm not really sure if that meant like STEM cells or if STEM stands for something in the education world. Either way, I think he was doing good stuff. Um, he reset the record at one hour and 41 minutes. Dang! 
Respect, Mr. Rush. Um, back to Florida. Florida police announced they had captured a loose lemur who apparently belonged to an inhabitant of the city. A local resident just owns lemurs, um, and this is actually legal. You can own lemurs <laughs> in this residence. I'm sorry, I'm still getting over this cough thing, so <laughs> don't worry about it, man. I'm fine. I'm doing... I have a lot more energy than the last episode. I don't, I'm not sure if there's a difference or not. Anyway, lemurs. They found the lemur, they returned it to their owner and discovered that there was in fact another lemur on the loose. So, if you live in Florida and you see a lemur, immediately tackle it to the ground, do a citizen's arrest and turn it over to the police. They need to get that lemur back. It's important stuff, Nate. I hope you're paying attention. A dog won a high school track meet last Friday. I kind of want to just leave it there, but no, I'll clarify. The dog was not actually participating in the race. There was a, it was a, a relay race, so the dog got excited by seeing a baton getting passed off and he jumped in for like the last hundred meters of the track and ran down and beat the human athlete who would have been first place, but they, they got beat by a dog. That's, I guess not too embarrassing. Dogs are fast. Dog Dogs are pretty quick. A Texas police SUV has been out of service since March 30th because a dove decided to build a nest upon it. And the police are just so kind to let it sit there. Uh, the, the dove had laid two eggs and the two eggs have since hatched and become hatchlings. And so the police are waiting kindly for the birds to literally um, flee the nest and then they'll put it back into operation. Probably have a free bird's nest out of it too. If you, if you need a bird's nest, contact the Texas police. It's probably a specific city. I'm sorry, I don't have that information. Um, we're like a second-rate news channel. I don't know if you're aware of that or not, so... Yeah, anyway. A theme park in Malaysia... I wrote Malaysis. I don't think that's a real nation. It's Malaysia. Was awarded another Guinness World Record for the world's longest water slide, measuring in at 3,645 feet, which is more than three times the length of the, the previous record holder. That's a long... That's a long water slide. So a football field, let's do the math here. A football field is like 100 yards, isn't it? Like 50 each way. So that's 300 feet. So this is 100 football fields? Unless I did my math super incorrectly and I don't have a correct concept of how big a football field is. That's a heck of a long water slide, man. And get this, the chief executive of the park stated that the idea for the slide came from his desire to have a water slide ride that lasted for more than a few seconds. That's gotta be a lot of seconds. Anyway, that's good. Um, I told you there's a lot of Florida stuff in here. We're gonna end finally with another Florida report. A 71 year old woman riding along with her daughter on the Florida highway um, suffered a gash to the forehead when a turtle smashed through the windshield. I said turtle, yes. Um, the daughter pulled over, got help from another passing motorist, and as they, they were surveying the situation, they saw there was a turtle stuck in the windshield of the car. <laughs> ah, don't worry, the turtle was okay, don't worry. Uh, the woman actually, the, the 70 year old lady, 71 year old lady suffered the most. Um, she, she was still fine, but just kind of had a minor injury uh, to the head, a lot of blood and stuff. The turtle just had some scrapes to its shell, um, and it was then released and walked away. How was a turtle? flying through the air um, on a highway. The, the theory is that another vehicle like hit this turtle that was maybe walking on the ground and launched up into the air, flew over a lane and went through a windshield. So Nate, if you're ever having a bad day in the Philippines or St. Grenadine or wh whatever you're doing, wherever you're at, man, just remember that a lady got hit by a turtle. You're welcome. Those are the news, man. Um, Let's, let's, let's go have a look at some things you might be missing. Mmm, drive through Ah, oh, it's been so long. I'd love a burger. Okay, yes. That's not my wife, just so you know. This is, that's just stock, stock video. Let's, okay, yeah. Oh, look at that. Doesn't that look just delicious? Ah, oh, take a fry. Yeah. Oh, you take a fry too. Oh man, look at that burger, that flag. Ah, take a bite, oh. The lettuce, the, 
the sesame seeds, just, oh, egg McMuffin with the hash brown. And, wait, those, those are almonds. Get that out. No, that's, okay, yeah. Some, uh, just a, a cheesy slice of pizza. Oh, the sweet, salty, savory sensation salingly supplied by scrumptious sustenance. Ah, oh, have a fry, have another fry. Yeah, yeah, you can do, oh my gosh, this is taking you so long. Just, yep, yep, there you go. Okay, now you, okay, that took way too long to eat a fry. Oh my gosh. Okay, and guac, wait, Nate, do you like guac? I don't remember. Okay, I, I'm not sure. Here, okay, yeah, let's just go to generic Mexican food. Mexican food, oh. It's been too long since I've had some fast food. You're welcome. And now, Nate, it is time for random facts about, can you guess? Maybe, I, I, I guess it's not that unreasonable for you to guess. We're talking about penguins today, homie. Let's talk about some penguins. A group of penguins in the water is called a raft, but on land they're called a waddle. <laughs> is that cute? I think that's cute. Penguins jump into the air before diving to swim faster. The move releases air bubbles from their feathers, which cuts down on drag, doubling and even tripling their speed underwater, according to the Smithsonian Institute. To make the leap back ashore, some smaller penguins can launch themselves six to nine feet into the air by swimming super fast and then just launching themselves out. That's, that's high. That's pretty high. That's cool. All 17 species of penguins are found exclusively in the Southern Hemisphere. So no northern penguins. If you find a northern penguin, it's an imposter. Don't trust it, Nate. Keep your hand on your wallet and just keep walking the other direction. Don't even make eye contact with it. Trust me on this. <sighs> okay. A penguin's striking color is a matter of, a uh, manner of camouflage. They're black and they're white, you know, like classic penguins. From above, if they're in the water, um, looking down, the black kind of blends in with the dark, murky depths of the ocean and, well, from underneath, the whiteness looks like the sky. So they're camo penguins. They're tactical penguins. Tactical birds is what they are. That's pretty cool. Penguins ingest a lot of seawater while hunting for fish, but a special gland behind their eyes, the supraorbital gland, filters out the seawater. So they can just drink salt water and then, I'm sorry, filters out the, the salt from their bloodstream, not the salt water. It's, that would make sense. That, um, Let's just go on to the next fact. Because they aren't used to danger from animals on solid ground, wild penguins exhibit no particular fear of human tourists. So you can walk up and just hang out with penguins. Think of Aang um, in the first episode of The Last Avatar. The Last Ava oh my gosh. The Last Airbender. Avatar. Yeah. Um, penguins spend around half their time in water and the other half on land. Penguins' eyes work better underwater than they do in the air, giving them superior eyesight to spot prey while hunting, even in cloudy, dark, or murky water, or water is turbulent. I mean, I got like another couple facts here, but I think that's enough facts about penguins. I hope you have thus been educated by penguins. Tactical birds, don't trust northern penguins. Yeah, it's, uh, it's time for the weather. Snow. Very well, Nate. Let's move on to, I'm sure, your favorite part of the show. Useful 10-minute Lego builds. Let's see if we can build for you a toilet paper roller out of Legos in 10 minutes. Welcome back, Brothaniel, to another useful 10-minute Lego build. You heard right. We're making you a toilet paper roller thingy. Uh, I'm going to have this for reference. I've got an idea, I think, of what I want to do. I, I just don't know how this is going to turn out within 10 minutes. Um, I will say, look what I made a couple weeks ago, man. Oh, uh, yeah. Be impressed. Anyway, enough of that. Got the proof here. 10 minutes starting now. Wonder if Lego Technic is the key. I have very little experience using this stuff, man. I don't know. That seems like work. Hmm. I'm getting some ideas here. Yep, 
Diaz is about all I've got. I'm not really sure what to do from this point. Need a base. Need a base. All right, is it cheating if I use this from last time? I don't think so. This is going to be our base, all right? Don't, don't judge me. Hey, maybe I won't use those at all. Waste time, but just gotta color coordinate, man. Duh. What am I doing? What am I doing? I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing, man. We're just doing it. Yeah, I, I really don't know what I'm doing, man. day going, Nate? Have you built a toilet paper roller out of Legos anytime recently? You know, it's one of the standard conversation starters. Just thought I'd ask. There we go. Look at that. Beat the system a little bit. All right. How's the height? Hmm. That's going to be a problem. Oh, yeah. Okay, Nate. I will admit this is not the most effective or efficient or sturdy of my designs uh, because the problem being it's a little complicated to take this thing off. You kind of have to have each roller come pre-built with your toilet paper, which I don't know. Maybe that's something you want to do. Also, like I said, it's not very sturdy, but look, it it does it does the job, man. It it rolls toilet paper. I I don't know what more you want of me. I'm gonna go put this in our bathroom now. Very well, as always, Bro Thaniel, I hope you have been inspired by today's session, and if not, you'll be inspired by this inspirational quote. Let's see what we got. Let civilian voices argue the merits or demerits of our processes of government. Whether strength is being sapped by deficit financing indulged in too long by federal paternalism grown too mighty, grown too rampant, by morals grown too low, by taxes grown too high, by extremists grown too violent. These great national problems are not for your professional participation or military solution. Your guidepost stands out like a tenfold beacon in the night. Duty honor country I don't really know what any of that means be inspired these are the dark times